to show you this great old Oriental rug that I found at an estate sale recently. It was marked $2,000 and I got it for, I'm embarrassed to say, $400. And I just love the colors in it. And I debated whether to get it or not because I wasn't sure about the size and there was a hole in it. There's a hole right here, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. There's some wear on the rug, but I kind of like that. It has a wonderful sort of patina to it. it can add some soulfulness to a room. Now, you can use an Oriental rug to be the full rug for a room. Those are really expensive and hard to come by, particularly if you have a large room. So what I like to do is use an Oriental rug over another rug. You can see here, I have a room size rug that's incisal, a natural fiber. And what I'd like to do is lay this colorful old Oriental rug over it in a certain area. Let me show you what I mean. For instance, this rug is six and a half by 16 and a half feet. So if I measure it out, the rug will come about middle way here, up to this point, under the sofa and over there, and it will define this sitting area that's focused on the fireplace. You see, I find that layering a rug on another rug is a great look and a good use for these Oriental rugs, particularly if you want a seasonal change in a room. I don't plan to keep this rug in here throughout the year. I want to use it in the fall and winter. It'll add a certain warmth, both in terms of its color and the fact that it's a lovely wool rug. Now, if you find a rug like this, there are a couple of things you'll want to keep in mind. Since I was able to buy this at such a great price, um, I have enough room in my budget, if you will, to have this rug clean. And I can also have it repaired. But both of these things need to be done by an expert. I'm David Martinus, Martinus on a rug company. Our family has been in this business since 1923. We introduced professional rug cleaning to the state of Arkansas, and of course we're dealers in handmade oriental rugs from around the world. I just had a nice rug brought in by Allen. It's a Harati. It needs a little bit of attention. It's got a place where we need to patch it, clean it, and uh, spruce it up a little bit. Uh, what, what Robert is doing here right now, he's, he's cutting this out, and we're going to plug this in. A lot of times, instead of re-weaving a rug, we have a lot of scraps, and so we can plug it and make it look real good. So that's what he's going to be doing. We've got a couple of pieces here. He'll put a patch on the back to keep it in place, and it'll look real well when he's finished. Okay, in this case, what he's going to do, he's going to do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of using this, it's going to be a little bit off on the pattern, he put this solid piece in, and he'll, he'll put a patch on the back, glue that in, make it stable, and then he'll take his color kit and he'll color this and blend this in with this so you won't even know if the patch is even there. Okay, now what we've got here is this rug has been submerged. It's been in the pit for about 24 hours with animal stains and odors. We're getting ready to pull it out. We're gonna squeegee all the water out. It's gonna slide into our dry room. We're gonna vacuum the rest of the water out, pull it up to dry. And after it's finished, we do a shampoo, wash, and rinse and then we check the rug and make sure that all the odor's out and all the stain's out. 